Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Coach Hicks. So we're continuing with the series of defending five receiver formations. More specifically, talking about the 32 and the 20 C receivers. How do you defend and how do you adjust to them? And so the way I see it, there's four ways that you can defend. You can either bump, you can track, you can rotate, or you can do nothing. So the videos for how to track and how to bump are already in the uh, in the playlist that you can find down on my channel. And today we're going to talk about rotating. How do you rotate to defend or adjust versus 32 and 23 five receiver formations? So the first thing is, if we go over here and we look at our screen, we get basically how a, B, a defense is going to align in general before any adjustment to the five receiver set. So we have our three linebackers in the box and we have our DBs around at their positions. So typically speaking, the first thing that you're going to get is you're going to get your Sam who's going to come out of the box. And because we're open to the field side, so this is 32, strong side of the formation or the field side. Um, so you're going to get your Sam who's going to come out of the box. So again, as I mentioned in other videos, how far out your Sam comes entirely depends on your defensive philosophy. Sometimes it can depend on your preference and sometimes it can depend on your coverage call. Um, so there's a, lot, there's a lot of defensive coordinators sometimes that will... They'll go 50-50 if you're playing a zone, and you'll go all the way out and over the third receiver if you're playing mat. So that's something that you want to look out for if you're a defensive coordinator or an offensive coordinator because sometimes you are showing what coverage you're going to run, uh, and sometimes you just don't care. Sometimes you can also use that to disguise, but it's just something to keep an eye out for. So we're going to have the Sam linebacker come out of the box, and our linebackers inside the box are going to adjust because now... There's only two gaps remaining, assuming that I have four down defensive linemen. So this is going to be the regular look. So this looks pretty much the same as we would have if we were playing track or if we were playing bump. However, now we're adjusting using a rotation. And so what, what changes and how you can tell that they're rotating is that if you come over into 23, what you're going to see is you're going to see the free safety come down and the Sam linebacker is going to rotate up over the top. So that's how you can tell if you're playing uh, when you when you're playing rotate. So why would you want to do this? Well, you can do this if your free safety has very good man-to-man -man capabilities and your Sam linebacker is able to play uh, deep middle zone or whatever your coverage might happen to be. If these two guys are pretty much the same the same people, then you can have that kind of versatility where you can kind of switch up who's playing where. Sometimes you might want this matchup over here to the weak side because they might run certain concepts and you don't mind having this matchup here. And so all you're simply doing is as they're moving their third receiver, you're simply running some sort of rotation with your Sam and your free safety. And so that's how you rotate your coverage. Offensively, if you wanted to attack something like this, some sort of rotation, what you could look at is you could look at, okay, well, what are the weaknesses of each one of these people? So, for example, if the Sam, if teams are rotating but their Sam linebacker is not necessarily a good middle defender, then you can start to attack him sending him posts and stuff like that, which you can start to exploit his weaknesses. Or if you notice that, well, the free safety is not very good in man-to-man, -man, well, if you see man coverage, then you can start to send some man beaters and attack his weaknesses to the other side of the field. So, that's it. If you haven't seen the other videos, please go check those out. And um, we got one more video coming in the series, which is how to do nothing or give the illusion that you are doing nothing um, in defending the five receivers, more specifically 32 and 23. I'm Coach Hicks. Take care.